You're not creeping up after me in the dead of night, are you? Tell me, is this a tumor? Whoa, was that Kevin? Basically critiquing every pig that comes into the ring and fat shaming them. He sure does like to scream. <laughs> Fellas really be out here sitting on bleachers to watch animals. Wiping his butt on my leg the entire ride. All right, everybody. I am at the Waco Event Center where my friend Sam is going to be showing his pig. They're doing this through a thing called FFA, Future Farmers of America. I never had that in my high school because I didn't grow up in the country. I'm going to be seeing all this stuff for the first time but sam was basically assigned a pig and then he took care of it for several months until the point where it's ready to be slaughtered hey it's me editing ben and as you can see at this pig show it's a bunch of grown men and women sitting and watching a bunch of pigs walk around all these little pigs are poked with poles that are basically car antennas uh by these little boys and girls on left and right i didn't understand any of it look it didn't make any sense man. to me but look at this little man enter steiner the protagonist of our tale this is a very handsome adorable little pig as you can see, all of the pigs are being kept in these small stalls during the competition before they go out on their nice little walks. These little guys most of the time just like to sleep. But look at this little boy. Look at the deep wisdom in his eyes. And this is Steiner. This is our little protagonist, our adorable little man. And here's another adorable little man named of Cal. He's got this weird little hump on his head, and he's the yeah. same thing, basically, Not only he was taken care of by a kid that had more money to throw at this FFA project. And now here's another little guy. This one's going to get slaughtered, the one at the bottom, because he didn't make it to the third round but look how handsome this one is very cute very handsome just like a dog he lifts his leg whenever you scratch him under his thigh take a look at this i got really at first i was kind of scared to put my hand in there because i said hey that's the danger zone but then i realized he was a neutered male cow and there's not really anything going on down there <laughs> Aww. But what's really amazing is that these little guys love to be scratched, just like dogs. But this little guy is going to be turned into a Fortnite burger or a Travi patty in the next day or two. And if you've ever had either of those things, it's your fault. <laughs> but back to the competition, if you look at this handsome man here with the collared shirt, he is basically critiquing every pig that comes into the ring and fat shaming them. And then he's studying from behind, he needs to be square and true uh, on either end. But let's give all round of applause here for this. Oh, while I do think this is quite strange for me, I do think it's important for these kids to grow up and learn about where their food comes from in a long-standing American tradition. Enter now our heroes, Sam and Steiner. As you can see, he's very, very strong and handsome, and the pig's pretty handsome too. <laughs> but we're very thankful for Sam. He's been a volunteer and a friend of the channel for quite some time now. He's helped us with a lot of fencing projects, and it takes a lot of time and discipline to be able to raise and train these pigs. Morning, Fortnite pranksters. Take a good long look at this battle. Alley-hoo. This is all the trash that's left on my property. And thank you, Tabby, for helping us clear a little bit of it. I know the tank said that you wouldn't be able to get that out of your car by yourself, and we're proud of you. As you can see, my bus is now completely clean, spotless, almost fresh and ready to sell. A fine detail, if you ask me. All right, everybody. I am at the Agricultural Science Instructional Facility Ooh, for Midway. Very nice. As you can see, this is right in a very suburban area. And uh, this is the setup that they have for all their animals. This is their barn setup. As you can see, they've got these little things here. There's the pigs. There's a lot of pigs. There's nothing at the pastures right now. Fellas really be out here sitting on bleachers to watch animals. I guess this is where they practice showing the pigs. This is where they're keeping all the little guys. There's a ton of grackles in here. I don't know if this is him or not, but this is definitely one of them. Little handsome man. But it looks like this is a washing station for all the animals. Here is a very handsome cow that probably didn't place and is probably going to end up getting slaughtered. You're going to become a burger. Why are there so many grackles in here? But look at these little guys. I think these are all the little guys that didn't place and now they're gonna end up going. What's going on with your belly? Why are you have a heat lamp? This is nasty. I do wonder why these guys have heat lamps because they're full grown pigs. They definitely don't need, but look at these little boys. Oh. And see, some of them have their doors open and some of them don't. There's a little goat or a lamb having a little little urination there. Why all these lambs have coats? It doesn't even get that cold at night. But this is it. This is the FFA barn at uh, one of the local high schools. Most of these guys are here because they didn't place and they're going to eventually become slaughtered. It's interesting how they just kind of zip tied a little bit of insulation here. See here, they did it with just a little bit of tarp. But whoever set up this is, I think they love their pig the most because they got nice little water, nice little feeder. This is nice and covered. And then they also have a little ball for them. I wonder if you're going to be someone's pet, little man. Probably not. Now these things act like dogs and I think they're smarter than them. Look at his face covered and all that. I don't know, but I kind of want to help you stand up and see what is that, bud? Is that a tumor that you're packing on your belly there, buddy? You got a little tumor on your belly? 
Number 269, you got a little tumor? A little tumor on your belly? Is that a little tumor on your belly? What is that? Somebody in the comments tell me, is this a tumor? There's a bunch of different setups. Does each person just at their own discretion and own cost create these little yeah. panels here? So yeah, some- this is just to like block out the wind and stuff and just have it. What's the deal with this? These people, this is really clean. Yeah, like, they really keep it clean and they just don't like having their pig interact with any other pigs and they don't run them outside at all. Really? So, so some, at the discretion of the students, they can just leave them in here if they want yeah, to? He's got, oh, Steiner. Yeah, he's, a, he's probably one of the healthiest and happiest of yeah. the ones I've seen. And then you guys have a little heat lamp set up here. So why do some people have it on nonstop? Some people just turn it on. Some people just forget. I mean, there's no yeah. reason for it. Like, I mean, it's nice and cool. Has he ever ran around in pasture before? No, but he's ran around dirt. He likes to run. So. Sweet. So we're going to try and walk him from here up into the bus. As you can see, we will be using this contraption to help the pig get up into my little bus here. And I haven't even cleaned it since Karen and Kevin were in here. Wow, he's walking right over there. Look at this cake. Wow. So what is that little thing there? The wind was bad, but basically he just said that this is a little whip that doesn't really hurt the pig, but it helps guide them by tapping them on the side that you want them to not go in. Good boy. Good boy. Good dude. Wow. Wow, he might make it. Wow. This is awesome. Well, he's going to have to. Oh, he did it. He's a strong man, bro. He's smart. He's a smart guy. It's like he knows. I'm going to go ahead and, and put this through the window here. Just drop this in here. Boop. Am I going to hit him? Yeah, what I used to do is I used to just have two of those little uh, kennel panels, and I would just put them right here. I figured he's probably not going to be super bad. I don't think he's going to be running up here and messing with me. This is definitely the biggest animal I've ever had in here. I've never had a... How many pounds is he? He's like 270. He says, let, let me drive the bus, Papa. He's not even one years old yet. He's 270 pounds. Okay, see, now he's going to go back there and start munching on that, and then maybe once we start moving, he's probably going to stop. Okay, now that he's distracted and eating back there, we should be ready to go. Walking up to the front a little more than I would like. Uh, very nice. This man will literally just walk up here and then rub his butt on my arm and then walk away. Oh, that was a very long 15 minutes. This little guy was just coming up to me nonstop and at one point he jumped on my lap. It's terrifying, but we're almost home. Literally 270 pounds of pig just came up here, licked me, and then jumped up on my lap, driving on the highway. This is the last time I will ever do this without a divider in the car. Oakley dokley, here we go. This is your new home, little man. Welcome home, Mr. Pig, welcome home. You think he'll be able to get down? Yeah, he'll get down those steps. If that obese goat could do it, this boy would just be walking up to me and wiping his butt on my leg the entire ride. Come on, buddy. Uh, look at this nice coat. He's very handsome. Oh! Good, good. Yeah, so his shelter can be that little carport thing that we built or uh, this thing. The feeling Poggers and Queen would probably be really interested in finding out who this little man is. This is Poggers first time seeing a pig since he was a baby. I just went ahead and let the dogs out. They're gonna get to play with him for the first time. Look at little the baby just sitting here being adorable. You're so handsome and cute and I love you. What's he nibbling on? Poggers is happy to be with a pig again. Fella's really out here playing Minecraft. Okay, well that's... That, that works. What? No more lumber runs, I said. We're done, I said. Friday night, nothing like hanging out at the dump. <laughs> hanging out at the dump on a Friday. Nothing quite quenches the soul than ethical legal dumping at the Waco local dump. Look at this thing. I had to take a picture. Okay, if this day couldn't get any longer, I'm at Orshul. And look at these adorable, little, look at this little man. Look at this little ding dong. Don't mind if I do. What would you guys say if old Uncle Ben came over here and just bought Vinny 20 new friends? Maybe if they weren't $30. Hey everyone, I got my 6,000 lumen flashlight. Vinny, for some reason, is just hanging out way, way back here. It just doesn't make any sense at all. That's what happens when we free range rabbits. Also, I didn't get this on camera, but there was a wild rabbit in the field behind the barn. It's the first time I've ever seen a wild rabbit in that big back field. And I was able to see it with my big flashlight. So chances are Vinny's exploring back there probably because she wanted to find that other rabbit. Okay, I got 6%, but I'm picking up two other pigs. One is a pot belly and one is, I think, a Juliana mix. The woman who owns them is not able to keep them anymore. Her landlord said that they need to get rid of them by tonight. So we are taking them in. 
Isn't that funny? They just immediately stop the second you set them down. Yeah. Even if they're so sweet, you know, if you pick them up, they're, they're still going to hate it. I found the pig feed that was already down there. And then what's this one's name? Petunia. Petunia. I used to have one named Petunia, you know. She's the best. She's yeah. potty trained inside and kennel trained. She re really? Let's see if we can grab a little treat for her. That, that's the only thing we have for them, and I just... There's just so much that's gone on. I had no idea they would be this small, you guys. Much like most pigs I've owned, they don't like being picked up and will scream. Look at this. Oh my gosh, she loves them. Now she's actually more comfortable with dogs than she is with this other pig because she was raised by a dog. And what's really funny is Poggers was actually raised by a pot -belly pig, just like her. Poggers was raised by Lil Pringle. And if you watch our old TikToks, you can see the vidges. But look how precious this interaction is, you guys. They're all so friendly and gentle. I'm gonna let the dogs out here to play with them. But first I need to get little Hamilton, who's the little Juliana pig. He sure does like to scream. <laughs> what, do you wanna alert every coyote in a 30 mile radius? All right, guys, here it is. Here it is. Wow. I think every one of these animals is going to be very, very, very happy here. Look at him trying to get up on that big boy. A fella might just have to scratch this boy's belly until he falls over. <laughs> it looks like he isn't falling over from this. By the way, here is Gugget. Gugget has free roam of the entire property. He is Nuggets and Gamer's son. Look how adorable and beautiful he is. Whoa, was that Kevin? <laughs> You're not going to try and bite me, are you? You're not going to try and bite me, are you, Kevin? Are you going to try and... <laughs> Kevin, you're not... You're not creeping up after me in the dead of night, are you? It's kind of sad. Those other little pigs just kind of abandoned Steiner. No, please, Kevin. Please. It looks like Vinny's running away from Queen. <laughs> no, Queen, stop. Stop. Don't chase her. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? <laughs> These guys are all just having the time of their lives right now. I really just want Vinny to get back into the main area where she can drink water. This is like a little family now. They're already just friends. Even when they're eating, they're not fighting over the food. It's incredible. Look, even Lil Gugget wants to get in on the action. And they might let him. Yeah, look at that. They're letting him eat too. It really is precious how they're just already all friends. And tonight they're probably going to cuddle up and keep each other warm. I think this little man's just looking for a nipple. But that's it, you guys. It's pretty amazing. These pigs are wonderful. They have amazing temperaments. They really like dogs and they get along with them really well. They don't fight over the food. They actually let this chicken just eat the rest of this food. And sometimes adult pigs will even eat your roosters. And this happened to Justin Rose just a few months ago. And if they get along with the dogs and each other, I'm sure they're going to get along with kids. Karen and Kevin. I just used these little cat's claw fasteners and I went ahead and put them on all these little boys here. Now this is not going to get ripped off by Queen or Poggers anymore. And of course Morgan and Queen are sleeping side by side per usual. But that's it you guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell. Oh! Let's give all round of applause here for you.